Goalkeepers and welcome back to another special episode of ARS Goalkeeping. Today we're going to look at a new segment called Building Technique, where we will look at improving foundation technique by finding simple errors that can be changed with proper coaching, drills, and repetition. In this session we're going to look at to work on simple holds. Our academy keeper Maurice has the reactions and drive to be a great keeper, but there are some technical areas he wanted to work on, starting with catching and holding the shot. So to start, we cover the hand placement on the ball. Maurice had been focusing on getting on the sides of the shot, but the truth is for a good safe hold, we want to reach our fingers over the top of the ball. So our first drill was all about hand placement and Maurice does well to get his hands on the top of the ball and get a decent hold. Once I saw that he was holding on to more shots, I went ahead and added some more small variations to keep his mind working and memorizing the muscle memory needed to correctly stick those arms out fast and get soft hands over the ball. So with a good base starting at his knees, Maurice held onto the shots extremely well. But all of that changed once he stood up. If you watch our keeper's legs, you will see right away he's opening them up way too wide. This makes him flat footed, which makes it a lot harder to deal with a simple hold. So to fix this up, we told Maurice to try and line up his knees with his shoulders. This is typically the right width for a decent keeper set and it'll help them be ready for any situation. The most important part is that we're keeping our arms or our shoulders aligned with our knees and that's a lot harder to do for keepers who have learned the wrong technique or with the muscle memory just ended up doing this and always opening up their legs wide. So the next thing I did is I set up some cones to illustrate how he should move in between there and how she should hold his feet together. One once you see him holding his feet a lot closer together, his holes are a lot more controlled and better. So to continue building on this technique, I have Maurice start with a normal volley to the chest with no cones around him to stop him from opening his legs too wide. And then we have him shuffle into a coned off area and this is all about getting Maurice or our keeper used to keeping his legs a little closed off and lets him feel the difference and it gives him those mental cones for his legs not to hit when he opens up his legs. Even if there are no cones there, I need him to understand how it feels to be constrained by the cones and to not be able to open up your legs too much because his main issue is just letting his mind react too fast and opening up his legs right away. And remember, this is one full session, so we do have a water break and a nice refresher to get the hands back together. I know Maurice's hands improved significantly just from the beginning of this drill, so I wanted to move on to the next hold. And the next difficult hold, especially at this level, is the basket or the scoop technique. What we want to make sure that we're doing is keeping our heads low and watching the ball into our hands. Our knuckles should be underneath the ball, at least touching the ground, and we should have most control over the ball. We shouldn't be rushing forward or falling forward or just rushing into the ball. When you watch Maurice at first, he's having a lot of difficulty keeping his hands down and getting low into a squat and not attacking the ball. He needs to control his body a little bit more and he seems like he's just throwing himself at the ball. So once we work on a few drills, that let him work on just controlling the ball with his elbows together and his hands together you can see the difference is like night and day especially even these controls and these holds you see him and they're holding and it's a full smother the ball is not coming up he has his body perfectly behind it and he makes it look like a professional nice hold and our last quick exercise is all about reactions, focusing on quick catching with proper technique and then reacting to a ball that comes from behind the server. On those reaction shots, you will see Maurice fall back into a bad habit and a few times that's because his mind is more comfortable with reacting in the bad habit because that's the muscle memory that he's learned. So by doing this style and remembering what we learned in the earlier drills, it will help your keeper break himself of that bad habit. To finish this all up, we go into a simple positioning drill where our servers are focusing on hitting the keeper's frame. Every single shot should be a simple hold or smother, and you can see right away that once the drill gets more confusing, Maurice falls back into his bad habit. His legs are opening up every time a shot comes in, killing any chance to react to a weird shot or bounce. Again, bad habits are very hard to break, and it will take a long time of training before keepers will finally be comfortable using the new proper technique. So don't get too frustrated if you're still doing the same mistakes. And watching Maurice's second set, you can see he is consciously making an effort to close his legs more and is able to improve upon some of his holds and even a diving save, thanks to remembering to keep his legs just a little closer together. His knees definitely still opened up a bit too much, but compared to the catching style that he came into with this drill, he has significantly improved. Now it's time to cement that technique by repeating the proper technique each time. 
And remember, this is just one full session covering simple holds and fixing foundation technique. And any coach will tell you one session will not solve your problem, but it will get you in the right direction. The key to making these saves second nature is all repetition. Do these drills every day if you must and think through your technique when you're off the field. In the end, only you can push yourself to improve. I hope you guys enjoyed the building technique segment on Simple Holds. If you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Yes. Don't get too low. That's okay. Great technique. There you go. Last one. Yep. And I'll take the save. Keep safe.